Okay everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set your auto ISO speeds for the Canon 80D, as well as set your minimum shutter speed. Okay, to access this we need to first go into our menu system, and we do that by pressing the menu button. Okay, wonderful. Now we're going to be using the second sub-menu under the red tab. So we'll be in shoot 2. Okay. Second from the uh, top, we have ISO speed settings. That's what we want to access. Simply press the set button to access the menu. Okay. Now we have ISO speed 200. Now this is currently what our camera is set to. And there's multiple ways to access this. As you can see, I left mine in 200. You can put yours in auto if you wish. Of course, like I said, there's other ways to access this menu. Okay. Now, what we're interested in here is auto range and minimum shutter speed. But before we get to that, I want to show you range for stills. Now, this is what the uh, you can set the camera to to be able to access. So, right now, I won't be able to access all the ISO speeds from 100 up to 16,000. Now, I can change this one up to the high of 20, uh, 5,600, but I don't use anything that high. So I'm just going to leave mine at the factory default of 16,000. We can simply change it by pressing set and our directional pad. Once you got it set to what you want, press OK. Now this is what you'll be able to access normally from the top of the screen or elsewhere in the camera throughout your regular settings. Now the one under that is the auto range. This is what the camera will automatically pull from when you're shooting like an AV mode, for example, or you know shutter speed in your know, TV mode. Okay, so let's press set to access that. Now the auto range here is from minimum of 100 to a maximum of 6400. So if I put my camera in uh, aperture priority, for example, AV mode, it will go. It will only pull ISO speeds from the minimum of 100 to the maximum of 6400. It will never go higher than 6400 unless I manually set it higher myself. Okay. If you really want to change these, you can press set and use your directional pad up or down to change these if you want. 6400 is fine for mine. I don't normally go that high, but I'm going to leave it set to it just in case. And once you got it set to where you want it, simply press over to OK and press set. And there you go. All right. Now, the other option, which is new to the 80D that the 70D did not have, is minimum shutter speed. Press set to go into that menu. Now, you have two ways of adjusting this. You can leave it auto. And you can notice here at the bottom, we have what's called a zero, then a pluses and minuses. We can use the wheel on top to adjust this. Now what this does, for example, if your shutter speed is say like right now, if I'm using the, the 50 millimeter on this lens, which is about the equivalent of about 85. If you push it over to the side, it will actually increase your shutter speed. The heading kind of help any kind of motion blur or camera blur, for example. Not actual motion blur, just camera blur from uh, from camera shake, and you can keep adjusting. Now, I'd rather not mess with that. And of course, if you want to push something down, for example, if you got a lens that has really good image stabilizer, you know you can kind of force the camera to actually go lower. I don't like auto settings, so I like to keep mine manual. Now you can adjust them anything here. Uh, one to one two hundred fifty uh, of a second is what I got mine set to. So anything, if I have a, for example, my 50 minutes on this camera right now, if I'm out in using an AV mode, taking photos and stuff, no matter what, the camera will never drop below 1 125th of a second. So it will always force a higher ISO when possible or just underexposed at this point. It will never go to 1 60th of a second or anything else slower. Now, if I really wanted to, I can go to 1 250th of a second. I don't really want to go that high. I think this is fine for most of my lenses, at least shooting portraits. So I'll leave mine set. And of course, you can adjust it by pressing the, uh, turning the wheel here on top. 
Okay. Once you got your set to where you want it, if you want it auto or manual, like I said, I leave mine in manual. Press the set button and you're good to go. And of course, then just press the menu again and again, and you're back to your regular screen.